So now in this section I'm going to talk about bandpass modulation. So bandpass modulation. So remember bandpass and pass modulation is in this um, signal change there where we have um, symbols. Yeah, so we have a stream of symbols which are in the so-called baseband. Yeah, so here this is a baseband. So a stream of amplitudes can be complex. And then here we've got the so-called bandpass modulator, which generates us a bandpass signal and then just goes out to the area to our channel. So here we've got our bandpass signal. So I'm going to present three bandpass modulation schemes. Most of them, they are familiar to you already. So the first one is amplitude modulation. Probably everybody has seen that. It's basically just really changing the amplitude of our RF signal, yeah, so that if we have a sine wave like that, then, then the, and then our carrier is modulated in amplitude here. So it's time. So that's a very old fashioned principle, but it's very good to use this as an instruction example. And then we're going to to the modulation scheme, which is used more or less every um, in many applications nowadays, and this is phase modulation. So phase modulation is a bit more difficult to draw. So the idea is to change the phase of the signal. Yeah, so there's a sine wave, and then suddenly we are switching the phase and continuing like this, and then we are switching the phase here. And so, and so with these phase switches, we can um, tra transmit information. So that's a way of um, of transmitting our data, and we and we will see there's a quite a close relationship between amplitude modulation and phase modulation. And then the third thing is um, frequency modulation. And that's obviously what the name says is we are changing the frequency of the of the carrier. Yeah, so um, we have a frequency like that and then suddenly it becomes faster and then it becomes slower again. And we are transmitting the information by changing the frequency here. So we are working ourselves through these three examples. Um, and in every example, first I will demonstrate the theory and then we switch to MATLAB Octave and see how this works in programming.